All right, what is up everyone? My name is Chris and today I'm gonna to be talking about an RFA that not many people have really brought up uh, and I certainly haven't as well. Um, it's kind of just been me talking about all the guys that were on the Flyers for you know the whole season. This guy kind of came up and staggered a little bit. That is Mikhail Vorobiev. Um, Vorobiev, he's a he's a guy that I like Vorobiev. I do. Um, I think the one thing with him though is that he struggles in the NHL and it's obvious. He's very good in the AHL and there's no balance. He's he basically dominates in the AHL. NHL can't really do anything. Um, so, I mean. Vorobiev is a pretty good player overall. I mean, he's, he was a fourth-round pick uh, in 2015, and he gelled out to be a pretty good player. It's just he couldn't really get anything done. Um, I mean, for being picked in the fourth round, that's pretty damn good. Uh, for, for being a good AHL player, okay in the NHL, I guess, if you want to say. Um, but, I mean, he's played 35 games with the Flyers, and he's recorded five points. Uh, that's what is, And that's across two seasons. So in 18-19, he played 15 games. Uh, he had two points. Uh, and that's a goal and an assist. And then this season, he played 20 games, so he gets five more games, he gets another assist. Uh, he had three points, one goal, two assists. Um, and with the and in 18-19, he was uh, just a solid zero for the plus minus. And then this season, he was minus five when the team was really good. Um, and, you know, AHL numbers. Uh, so he st basically started out 15-16, 16-17. He's in the, in the KHL. Uh, he was already drafted by the Flyers. And then in 17-18, um, he basically was AHL 58 games. He had 29 points, nine goals, 20 assists. 18, 19, and 42 games with the Phantoms. 26 points, seven goals, 19 assists. Uh, and then 19, 20 with the Phantoms. 28 points, 12 goals, 16 assists. And he's a plus nine. So he plays better down Lehigh Valley. Can't really do anything in the in the NHL. So basically, at this point, he's on the last year of his entry level contract. Uh, he'll he will be an RFA. Um, I'm honest, honestly, I'm thinking a team could pick him up if wanted, if they wanted to. Um, honestly, I don't really know. He is waivers exempt. Um, but even still, it's just like, at this point, you know, a team could pick him up, but I'm thinking he's probably going to go back to the KHL. He's played there before. And I think that's the best bet for the Flyers. I don't think you offer him a contract. He's had way too many chances. Um, but even still, it's just, I just don't really see it with Vrobiev. As I said before, they have so many prospects right now knocking on the door so they honestly just have to get to uh, just move away from him because it's like he's been getting given too many chances and he hasn't proved anything you can't just let them sit in the, in the spot he's going to eat up cap space as well which is what the flyers need them they really will take anything they can get at this point so it's like they might as well just get rid of him uh, while they can so let me know what you guys think below on Vor on Vorobiev. Uh, and again, guys, you know, remember podcast articles, those links for my channel. And I'm really appreciating all the support, uh, that I've been getting from you guys. I got a bunch of people retweeting my stuff all over Twitter. Um, when I made the article about Shane Goss, better why the Flyers shouldn't trade him. Basically what I said in the video, I put into, into words, uh, and I typed it all out and everything. So even still, I really do appreciate it guys. And again, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one and goodbye.